And that system has always had a complicated relationship with the country's pot users. Since October, Canadians have openly used cannabis without fear of arrest. Many, though, were convicted under the old policy for possessing even small amounts. Today, Ottawa promised them a fast and free pardon. CTV's Todd Battis has the details. For Canadians convicted of having even the smallest amounts of pot, this was a welcome day. We believe that individuals who have criminal records for simple possession should be allowed to shed that burden and stigma. In some cases, those convictions have kept otherwise law-abiding citizens from getting jobs, buying homes, even volunteering. That These consequences have been disproportionately severe. They'll soon be able to apply for pardons through the Parole Board of Canada website. Ottawa is eliminating the usual $631 fee and the five plus year waiting time. We believe that, that it is likely that there are as many as 70 to 80,000 Canadians who will now be able to access a pardon at no cost. A pardon does not wipe a criminal record clean and could still pose problems when traveling. Pardons still don't present as a complete cure-all to getting over the border. So nobody should think that the U.S. government will tend to respect this legislation. The U.S. has a much harder and more difficult view of marijuana possession. The pardons apply to adults convicted of possessing less than 30 grams of cannabis. Anyone convicted of drug trafficking is not eligible. For advocate Jody Emery, it doesn't cover nearly enough Canadians. And that means people who sold it, because if you can sell it today for the government, you shouldn't be deemed a criminal for having done it a few months ago. The Minister of Public Safety says there are no plans to go beyond today's announcement. Omar Ralph Goodale says pardons could be processed and issued as early as this summer. All right, Todd, thank you.